Hello everyone, this is Kentucky Fried Gaijin, Kurodan. Tokyo Toy Bastard. And we're here. Um, it's about 15, 20 minutes outside the city center. Uh, this place, they're known for being uh, a kind of uh, unique uh, shop, uh, as you'll see. They're full of not just toys, but clothes and all kinds of records. Video Giant games. Buses. <laughs> Giant buses passing by, things like that. Uh, but anyways, we got permission to shoot inside, so we're going to go see what we can't find. Yes. I, I did spy a couple He-Men that I'm uh, interested in checking out. So Also, this is, yeah, this is like way out of the way of most of the big toy toy spots. <clears throat> this is some uh, a shop that most people that visit here have no idea that exists. And uh, I haven't been here out in a while. And it's, yeah, it's amazing stuff. It's a very close quarters. It's, it's like going through like your grandma's like attic. Basically. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, let's, uh, let's go have a look inside. Oh, Cheers. Cheers. Come with me, Stanky. Star Wars. Yeah. Some superpowers? Uh, uh, I see, yeah, some superpowers. I see the super Riddler. Superpowers, some uh, secret wars. Some secret wars. Anything else? <laughs> uh, a lot of things that I can't identify that are really cool though. Like this turtle. <laughs> I like that turtle. I like the old. Uh, Primary, secondary, secondary color toys. Yeah. Living here for so long, I mix up L's and R's as well. Secondary. Must have found this little handheld Shin Chan game. And then maybe these guys are modern. Look, like little wind-up bag figures. Those are kind of cool. And then. The wall o calculators. The wall o calculators and Rubik's cubes. Amazing. Just found a Crayon Shin Chan uh, box Game Boy game from 1993. Uh, Kuro Don and I are big fans of uh, Crayon Shin Chan, and if you watched Adult Swim. Uh, years ago, they used to put the English dub of the one of the seasons or two of the seasons up on Adult Swim. But uh, in Japan, it's still it's still running, it's still going. And uh, yeah, this is cool, cool to see. I never actually owned a Game Boy, but having this box would be kind of cool. I don't know, should I pick it up? I don't know. Depends on how much it costs. I'm guessing about two thousand, three thousand. Yeah. yeah we'll anyway, see. Chin Chin, watch it if you haven't. Oh, you got a really nice uh, original. Star Wars uh, figure carrying case, three and three quarters. So, <clears throat> which character is it? <laughs> so it's, got, it's got all the tags, all the stickers. I think some of them have been flipped. Yeah, a couple of them have been flipped. But... Accessory holder. Any money? Any money? No yeah. weapons. And uh, right next to this. What'd you find? A very clean looking... Ninja Toidles? Ninja Turtles carrying case. Deluxe. Deluxe. So it holds up to 20 figures, but you can tell that's not in any particular order. <laughs> <laughs> it also doubles as a tackle box. <laughs> Yeah, like I used to have this like uh, briefcase, like this black briefcase that had mm. the same image on the front. Yeah. 
that I kept all my turtles in. Oh, I that's... think my mom still has it. It's one of the few things that well, I still Star have. Wars, it's the opposite for me for Star Wars because I have, I still have the fig, the, the lunchbox style Return or Empire Strikes Back um, mm -hmm. figure case with the grading, like the old match car grading in it. Yeah. Yeah, like I've got about 20, it's like 24 to 48 figures in it. Oh. So, but here, oh, I see some monsters. See, uh, you got a oh, we got some Ghostbusters. Some Ghostbusters. Yeah, that's uh, Igor. Igor. Yeah, that's one of the last lines. They started doing Universal Monsters got a stone cold steel without steel. the license of Universal, I think. Oh, what's this big turtle thing here? This is, I believe, one of the I've mini sets. I've never it's seen the, that. It's one of the sets for the miniatures. Ah, was that kind of like the Mighty Max type thing? No, this is the uh, this is the one of the Transformers. Oh, I've never seen yeah. one before. Oh, wait, Mutant no, military, but the sticker's movies. upside down. Wow, yeah. was this during the Iraq War? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this comes out, turns into a tank. This was one of the weird, I think one of the weirder parts of the Transformer series. Yeah. Like, they, I think I've seen one of these com at, uh, in boxes. Like, Transformers, like, like, this was released, this wasn't released as a Transformer, this was no, just no, no, one of the, the transforming. The transformation, okay. I think they call them. Uh, beware of dump. <laughs> as always. Oh, we got up here, we got all kinds of crazy shit. Oh, wait, what? These look like Ghostbusters, but they're not. What are these? I think that one is a ghost. Yes, no, it looks like one of the Gooper ghosts, but it's not. Uh, if, you know, if you know what these are, let us know in the comments because we are at a loss. There's a lot, anyway, there's lots of stuff. There's lots of turtles. I see. What's the guy? Got the... Bandito Michelangelo. Raph in space. And lots of... <clears throat> Actually, the, the one of the things that uh, sent us this way was uh, this, this guy that runs this shop... Um, had a lot of massive of the universe figures for sale at a flea market, a toy flea market, and uh, that brought us out this way. Still got a ton of them. Got some carded. Yeah, you sent this robot over, but I'm wondering if it robot looks complete. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're Don, Don loves him some robot. Yeah, it's complete too. It's got all three arms. Um, interested in him, and then <coughs> what's the name of the guy from the movie, the little wizard dude? Oh, the little remember. tiny guy? Yeah, no, this, yeah, the guy with the orange beard. He's got one of them right Oh, I, I don't remember his name. Yeah, he's pretty chill. It does no, fun, like, action functions whatsoever. But, like, yeah. I loved the movie growing up, so I think his feet turn, that's about it. Never had that guy. He's got the, uh... Oh, I see Mondo Gecko. Yeah. Yep, from, uh, Turtles. I know what that is. And then you have Wing Bat, or Wing Nut. Wingnut, yep. The sewer surfing, uh, Surfaces. surfing Surf Mikey. Oh, oh, I have a surf, sir. I have a surfboard, but I've lost the figure. Hmm. And then, uh, oh, we got some old Happy Meal toys. I'm also a pen collector, so let's take a look at these pens here. Got some nice pens. I love Glico. You found two robotos? Yeah. And uh, uh what's clawful. the lobster? What's the clawful? That's right. Yeah. Oh, we what got a, a is it a soft head or a hard head? Hard head. Hold on. Stop, stop moving around. Hard head. Hard head. He's hard headed, but he's complete and that's cool. What does he got? Is that like the cutout from the back? Yeah, it's got the webbing. Got the, the Donatello yeah, that's cool. print out on the back. Can I see that? Yeah. Look at Donnie. Don and I are both, uh, big fans of uh, Ninja Turtles, so is Oliver, but uh, I think I think you might have the most more comprehensive turtle collection. Uh, I have all the soft-headed. Yeah, I don't have any soft-headed, I'm not picky about those, but yeah, I love these guys, they're just so cool. I really like Donnie's colors, like that kind of, he's got the poopy brown going on, poopy green brown. Here you go. <laughs> That's another thing. Get some, uh... Saint Seiya. Saint Seiya. Uh, what are those things called? Fans, would you is that a Is that a fan? Yeah, it looks like a fan. No, no, no. I don't think so. I think it's the, uh... 
like the thing that pogs are related to. Oh, the slam slam pack. Yeah, slam what are those pack? called? I forgot. I know what they're called. I have a bunch of them. What we got there. Oh, What's yes. his name? So this is Zor like Zordak or something like that. Zordak? I can't yes. remember. Like, no, I'm not sure. He, I have him, but like as you can tell, the string is loose in the back. So, which means that the zip t or the zip function in his back is broken. But again, I have, I have him as well. This is, like I said, this is one of the only ones I don't have. Where did this guy get all this motu? We've got to ask him. He's got a bit of a busted nose, but he would display very easily. Wait. So I don't have him. I also don't. I never got this guy, but I think he's I think he's been sitting around here a while. Oh wow. Squeeze. Can't tell if that's a seven or a three. Look at that big purple slong. Yeah. Slong? I said slong. What's a slong? The problem with his this guy is he doesn't really display very well. You have to give him his own space. You can hang him from the ceiling. That is true. I don't have this dude, which I'm guessing is gonna be expensive. These guys usually run run quite a bit. Oh, his coat doesn't have anything on it. Oh, let's see. Does his tongue work? <clears throat> By the way, there's, there's probably only a handful of places in Japan, or at least, especially Tokyo, where you can find Masters of the Universe figures. Sorry, I've been drinking, so I, I can't speak well. Um, this place probably has the best loose selection. Mm, for sure. Like, 2000 Toys has yeah. some stuff, but... It's a bit overpriced, and uh, this place has uh, definitely a lot more. Oh, yeah. There's the other guy from the movie. Oh, yeah. Robot Sagat. Yeah. Hmm. Again, it's nice. Doesn't have, doesn't come with the, uh... Here's a Roboto with Mini Comic. Another Roboto? Yep, with Mini Comic, yeah. I have no mini comics. And I'm, I can't find the dragster, drag store, or whatever his name is, with a drag store with a complete uh, back piece. <clears throat> drag store is the guy that has his own uh, drag shop, right? <laughs> Thinking about it, like this guy is busted. His uh, he got the tongue that sticks out, right? Yeah, but his tongue won't work. That's what she said. Yeah. By the way, uh, I, I, I enjoyed your tongue flipping action in mm -hmm. the last Ghostbusters video that yeah. you added in there. <laughs> Did you film that separately? No, no, I was doing that as it was happening. Okay. Yeah. And I just threw it down there. It was great. If you haven't watched our Real Ghostbusters uh, video where we watched uh, Real Ghostbusters, check that out. Oh, that's movie splinter. Yeah, it is. It's nice. I like that splinter. Yeah, so do I. I don't want to get any turtles, though. Are you a turtle hater? I've already got enough. I think I've got all the ones I want. I've got all the original soft heads. Yep. I have. I had the transforming, but then I got bored of them. Here, while you're digging through those, I'm gonna walk her over here real quick. There's a lot of cool Japanese gems here because you know we're focusing on the American toys because we don't see those often here. Like, look at this robot dog thing. That's awesome. Oh, the Ecto One. That's the seat and the ghost stuff. So. Oh, that's awesome. How much? Six. That's. that's oh, that's it's amazing. got. Oh wait, no, it's not that. No, no, that that's a, a. There's a. There's a. Uh, the, a claw on inside. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a, that's an amazing price, especially if you were gonna if you buy that outside of Japan, you're gonna have to pay thirty to forty dollars just to have it shipped here. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying not to collect Ghostbusters. <laughs> you piece of ghost pooey. Oh, and there's a GI Joe down there. GI Joe? Yeah, that's uh, just a vehicle. There's some Power of the Force. Everyone loves Power of the Force too. Oh, they can't even give them away here. <laughs> nope. Yeah, you, you find these all the all over the place here, and they're, they're like literally like 
equivalent a dollar to two dollars every time you find them. Yeah. We got in here. Bunch of random. We got transforming Spider Man. That we do. Yeah. Oh, is that a Red Ranger? Oh no, it's the crap one. I'm looking for a Green Ranger for uh, yes. nostalgic. My my buddy Naz. Mm, who uh, uh, runs the Nostalgic uh, Flea Market channel. Alright, I'm going to wander over this way again. There's a lot of cool stuff over here. Alright, so, yeah, got a lot of Game Boy games. Lots of cool stuff. Super Splatter. Super Splatter, what is that? Board games. Don't worry guys, it's so good. Oh, Silverhawk, that's uh, Bluegrass, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He's from Kentucky, I think. I love these old puzzle toys. Always in, uh, it's not gonna focus. There we go. I love these things. Old puzzle toys. Some Doctor Slump uh, badge or um, so on badges, but yeah, side characters. Not too bad. How you got though? He's got a Peter. With broken. Uh... We got a Peter. We got a broken Peter. A broken Peter. That's so what I was little, talking about last time. White in the hair. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty common. Yeah. yeah. What is the the back end snapped off on the other side? Uh, yeah. I actually have some Proton Streams um, complete. I think I gave them all to Dave from Toy Play. Hmm. Dave, get on that video. Special request. I know you get lots of things, but... So we have here a bunch of, probably from the anywhere from the early 70s, late 60s to the late 80s, a lot of three and three quarters figures. So we're going to have a look at the Star Wars and see if there's anything, uh, maybe some Japanese uh, stuff in there as well. Did I knock some rare in the bag? No, you're fine. So, I already see a bash. I don't know. Maybe. And then. Then Kenobi I've got a, the gray hair. I've got a Lando. I remember I bought my smiling Lando here a few years back. Oh, that wouldn't be too bad. Rufio. The Rufio? Yep. What's up, Rufio? Rufio. Me? Paint on that. It's kind of thick black paint on that. Mm. It's not bad. How much is it? Oh, it doesn't have. I was looking. Didn't have one. Uh, it's got a gun. Yeah. It's gonna Probably say. original. Yeah. It looks. I mean, yeah, it looks original, but it's easy to say. Never know. Never yeah. Know. I think I've got most all of these. I've got him. Max Rebo. Oh, what was that? one's Max Rebo. Max Rebo, I'm not sure. I don't have an Admiral Akbar without a chewed up hand. I don't have Admiral Akbar. I don't really do the Return of the Jedi guys except for the indoor stuff. Mm, I do like him. I do like Akbar. Oh, there's another one. Double Akbar. A double Akbar. A double Akbar. He's a Secret Wars Captain America. Nah, it's, that, that's, that's, not, that's, not, that's not a Secret Wars. They that didn't is. have joints? Superpowers. Super powers? Superpowers, yeah. yeah. Oh, Bib Fortuna open. Bib Fortuna. Remember Christmas? I do. You remember Christmas, Bib? Tell me how you like it. <laughs> Can't see me. It's alright. Oh, this is when I don't. Road? Yes. This is when I don't have. Oh gosh. Focus. That's not right. Mm. 
that's actually one that they actually improved upon in the Power of the Force 2 line. Because they gave him, they gave him uh, darker colors. Mm. And, uh, this one's really tight. He's, he looks great. But yeah, this is a cool one. Still. 78. I think, yeah, I might pick. What is that purple thing? Which one? Right here. There's a purple thing. This thing? What is that? This is a mummy. It's a mummy. Okay. It's the mummy. Mummy keychain. See? I am stabbing Don in the eye with my finger. Oh, the invisible people. Adventure people? The adventure people, yeah. Harrison Ford and Luke Skywalker. Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill on this little fancy. G.I. Joe's? Yeah, a lot of G.I. Joe's. Tons of uh, old LCD games. Yeah. Well, since this is open, I'm going to move up through this. Right. Random stuff here. This, is not, this place is not just only toys, it's a lot of antiques and other random things. I really like this little red guy. Yeah, this guy's great. Oh, I didn't realize that the, the robot dog had. Uh, his name's Lovely, I guess. Yeah. Lovely. Stop knocking over stuff, Don. Not knocking. Don is a supreme douche. That's why his strap says that. Oh, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me cram this camera in there. This is so um, was Luke. one of the uh, last stuff. Come on, focus. One of the last Star Wars figures produced. Does he have a helmet in there? No. No helmet, but still he's awesome. How much is he? Fifteen. Fifteen what? Uh, a thousand. Oh. Yeah, if, if he had the helmet, that'd be nice. Yeah. That helmet would be that. super hard to track, though. You could always give him a Power of the Force 2 helmet, and it would look really weird. <laughs> I have one. <laughs> Just sitting on my desk. What'd you find? Are oh, you gonna you gonna grab the Death Star yeah, droid? Yeah, feet are pretty feet are pretty solid, and I don't have one at all. So you know, start start low, start crappy, and then just replace and sell. Just work your way up. So all right. This will, this will be one of mine. You gonna go for the other Motu? I'm getting. Ooh. I'm getting, and I'm gonna I'll. Sub his name, the uh, guy from the movie. Yeah, I don't remember his name. I just remember I'm gonna his... put this guy right here for now because I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue on the PlayStation looking. 2. That will be his deathbed. I'm, I'm tempted to get Crash and Jump. You go for it. And the Game Boy while I'm at it. <laughs> and the Game Boy? Did you have a Game Boy? I don't have a Game Boy. That's Chris's thing. Chris collects Game Boys. Yeah. Is there a Game Boy here? Yeah, we've got the, the movie guy up here, chilling. He's like, please buy me. I've been here for a while. I haven't really found anything that I want to buy yet. Um, this place also sells uh, used clothing. Books, bags, dishes, china. China. I wish there were. I wish there were more uh, McDonald's toys. I am really liking this McDonald's pinball thing here for 600 yen. It's just colorful and, and cool. Oh, is this a Darkwing Duck? Oh, it is a Darkwing Duck. I found a Darkwing Duck. In Japan, that's that's pretty cool. Let's get dangerous. What's the condition on this? What's the price on this? 
This is something I've definitely been asked about and I've not seen until now. What is this? Uh, Street Fighter Keshi. Oh yeah, I found some. I posted them for sale on my Instagram. No one wanted them. And as soon as I like just traded them in somewhere, everyone was like, where are those Street yeah. Fighter Keshi? Yeah, so we have um, Yu, Vega, Chun-Li, and Blanca. You mean Ryu? Yu. I say it right. And then I found, check these out. Couple Motu mini comics. Yeah, man. Really clean. Dude. Oh, good memories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. 2000 Toys had like a stack of those for mm. really cheap, but I guess they sold pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah, I'd want these because I'm still considering getting those uh, boxes from Mexico, mm -hmm. and they hold the mini comics. Like ah. They have the square backs so of the mini comics. But then, yeah. talk wouldn't... to talk to Rodrigo. He'll help. He'll help you out. Uh, yeah, I will do, because that guy wouldn't go down any lower in his price. You can set up here. How to win at Nintendo Games Part 3. <laughs> that hurt. Hey guys, it's me now. Um, I also collect turtles. Uh, I'm pretty particular about the Master of the Universe stuff. I've got what I want pretty much, so we've got a lot of turtles in here. One thing that I really want is a vintage Mauser. Uh, loose and on card, but uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can find a loose Mauser. You didn't happen to find one when you were looking through here, did you? Nope. But they're um, hard, I mean, hard to find. They're hard tiny. Find, yeah. Um, it's one of the later Aprils. With the stripe? I mean, they did like a white stripe April, then they did a purple stripe April. This is like, she's like completely different sculpt. She looks kind of fugly. Take her face out of there. Like, they, they just totally messed up April. Sorry, April. Um, there's a, so, there's a lot of TMNT in here. Uh, yeah, Mauser might be hard to find. They made a ninja bebop toy? Mm hmm. I one don't the, remember this. So uh, one of the beat chest ones, you hit his chest and his head pops up. Oh, like rock'em sock'em. Yep. Nice. Some of the... Oh, what's this? I kind of like this. Like police... Police Leonardo? Does the orange belt go with him though? It's kind of mm. confusing, like is it... Looks it? Looks like it has handcuffs on it. Yeah, it does. It, I like this. I've never seen this before. This is kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of a. I don't need this. That's kind of weird. It's a potential buy, especially for the price. Let's see what else we got in here for the TMNT. Some lots and lots of. Uh, Baxter Stockman. Um, there's... Yeah, someone else coming in. Alright, well... I don't... I don't particularly see any Mausers, so... Um, there is one in Knockin' on Broadway, so... Saturday. We'll see about that Mauser. Let's loud in here. Yeah, so welcome back. Cheers. Cheers. We just we just left Stecky. We're at one of our favorite uh, places to hang out, uh, Korikizoku, one of the cheapest izakawas in yeah. Japan. Two bucks for this piece of shit. These are massive. Uh, we're, 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 we're big guys with big hands. I think Don's hands are bigger than mine, even though I'm taller than him. Yeah. He's a freak of nature. Yeah. Um, but these are massive. So anyway, so. Today we got a, I got quite a good haul today. This man had, was hauling piss all day, so he got fucked out of yeah. all the deals. But uh, quickly, like, <laughs> he, found, he probably found a UTI. Um, anyway, so go over quickly, kind of some of the stuff I got. So first off, for about uh, ten bucks, I picked up this uh, Death Star and or Death Star, uh, Death Star droid. Death Star droid. Then I think for three bucks, I picked up a set of four uh, Street Fighter and then one SD ch uh, Chibi fi uh, figure, these uh, Keishis. 
See those dresses in there? There's the view. View, not Ryu. Ryu? I picked up for another 10 bucks, a piece of my childhood. Oh, SD Chun Li. Yeah, SD Chun Li, yeah. Uh, I picked up a Wildor from the Masters of the Universe movie for uh, about 10 bucks. We had to look up his name because no one remembers Wildor. <laughs> Everyone remembers him, but nobody wants to. His name, yeah, no one remembers his name. Um, I'll leave this for last. And then, uh, as he said in the video, we're big fans of uh, Cran Chinchon. Much more so the Japanese version than the American, but... Uh, I like the American version too. But I picked up what I believe, I didn't even actually check the inside of this, I believe it's complete. <laughs> uh, the uh, Cran Chinchon 2 for Game Boy. So, 500 bucks for a, what, like nearly 30 year old game. Uh, complete, not too bad. Picked up a couple uh, Masters of the Universe mini comics. Yeah. These are very nice, clean, clean corners, a little bit of discoloring, but and the best part is this one includes, uh, as you all remember, the Flying Fist He Man from our Christmas, uh, our around Christmas, our after Christmas video. It was, it was recent. Am I it was like two days after Christmas. Oh, was it? All right, yeah, yeah. So our childhood memories video, and this man dropped it and broke his hundred fifty dollar toy. Uh, and then speaking of which, ironically, back on that, I didn't even realize this. So um, I've been looking for, uh, as I showed Roboto last time. He had a sticky, cum-covered Roboto. Oh yeah, that I did. It was not my fault. Uh, but I, I, I never had all his pieces. Uh, I probably did it at some point when I was younger. But he came with uh, three arms. He came with uh, a dual laser uh, blade and a uh, claw. And I found one not only complete with those, but also came with the uh, mini comic. Yeah, don't put those pieces up see. your butt. That's how I lost the last three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Uh, what was great about this one? He had he had actually a lot of robotos. He had probably four. Yeah, he had like four, or five. four at least that we could see. He yeah. had, he had piles, he, piles, the, piles. His of his, his, uh, his average price was somewhere between. <laughs> Uh, 25 for a loose loose leg with maybe one weapon to about 35 for a complete one with janky legs. This one has pretty decent legs. Um, all the weapons and the mini comic and it's 25. So yep. I got the entire... Oh, and one more thing. So You bought some corn. <laughs> so this one... Um, I'm trying not. I'm trying my best not to get back into vintage games, but I saw this like blank case, and I thought, yeah, porn. I definitely want to check this out. Open so, it up, and it was greeted with uh, <laughs> Shining Force Two for Sega. Beat him and eat him. So a very, very clean card. Very nice. Yeah. yeah uh, I don't know anything about these kind of games, but this is a cool. Is a yeah, cool the card cartridge. itself is great. Yeah. Um, this nice. So this is from when? I think that was 90, uh, 93. 93. It's on the oh, did you say that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, same as this. 93. Yeah, a lot of uh, weird, like a lot of these things like pre early 90s didn't put like dates on them. No. That was, uh, that's confusing mm. sometimes. Well, and don't feel like Japanese like it's not been that long since Japanese started using our dating system. That's right. right. Yeah. So they, 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 uh, even like now, if you fill out paperwork, often you have to use like uh, Japanese like emperor dates. Yeah. So like yeah, I don't know if many of you know, but uh, Japan has always gone off of eras. So every time a new emperor uh, succeeds the throne or succeeds the throne, um, it begins a new era. And actually, this year. Uh, as of, I believe, next month, it'll be it'll go from Heisei, which it is now, uh, to the new era, which has not yet been decided. So, and then on a lot of official documents, they will number it. It'll be one, two, three, uh, instead of like 2020, 2021. But they use both, so it's kind of a pain in the ass to learn. Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna cut that part out because that's boring shit. No, it's interesting. It's very interesting. So uh, I'll put it in the bloopers. Anyway, so uh, it's the most boring blooper ever. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'll, I'll just give myself like a, a chomping uh, Pac-Man. The only thing that I picked up tonight, um, other than other than the chicken that I ate, was this highball, and I already drank it. 
So, you know, did I win or did I lose? I lost. Fucking horribly. I did, I did recently buy, because I saw this Australian ladies channel, uh, Nerd Burger J. Nerd Burger J, if you're watching. She posted this video of, um, she bought this uh, lot of vintage Happy Meal toys for $50 on eBay. And it was like, it was like hundreds of toys, like all still sealed and everything. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then she showed this book of, uh, it was a checklist of vintage Happy Meal toys. And that's something I've kind of been talking about, and like some things I kind of want to get into a little bit, maybe. Like some of them, not all of them. But I was like, I don't know, I don't remember like what all they had. And apparently this book's like a hundred bucks, but I found like a Goodwill, like uh, eBay page, and they were selling it for ten bucks. And I bought it, and that's coming in. So that was my win of the week. Yeah, for sure. Fucking Happy Meal Toys. That's what this channel is related into. That'll be my uh, next into. video on my channel. It'll be me looking at this book and talking about Happy Meal Toys. Fraggle Rock Toys. Fraggle, Fraggle Rock. Oh, Ishii used to have stuff. a whole set of those. And then yeah. we passed them up like fucking douches. And at the time, I probably wouldn't have been into it. No, I want the Dippin' Nuggets one. Those are cool. Anyway. So, uh, I guess we uh, about time we should sign up. Um, so I think we'll do more of these. I like there's a lot of these little boutique, kind of tiny little weird hole-in-the-wall shops uh, all around uh, Tokyo, all around Japan. Uh, so it'd be nice to, you know, maybe even get outside the city uh, a bit here and there. Um, but that's what we got for today. You know, I got my Roboto, my Cran Chin Chan, my Droid. You know, a little bit for each collection. Pretty much all, except, uh, pretty much all uh, American, except for the games. Um, yeah, I think it all in all is success, fun, success, a success, a success, sex, sex sells, sex sells me toys. Yeah. Anyway, so this has been Kuroda and Tokyo Fried Gaijin. Tokyo Fried Gaijin. <laughs> One more time. This is Ben. <laughs> this is Ben Kuroda. Tokyo toy asshole. This is. Oh fuck, did I say our name? No, I didn't. I don't know, let's try it again. <laughs> last, last check. Last shot. This, this has been Tokyo Toy Drunk as Fuck Bastard. This has been Kurodon. We are Kentucky Fried Gaijin. We'll catch you later. We're Kentucky Drunk Gaijin. Bitches.